Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris Omi, and we are here today with more Stars Order 7. We're back at Rasco's Retreat, and um, I was able to transfer the horses over and create a new save. Um, and then bet to get some money. As you'll see here, we got... Um, yeah, in total, over the couple of days, I think three days betting we've done. Um, from selling starting horses and a bunch of other stuff. Like, we made an absolute ton of money. And then I upgraded some stuff. And then basically made a bit more money on the end to give myself some floating cash to begin with. So we went and watched today's racing bet in the winner just to make cash um it's what a lot of people do in this game um and i do have a video on how to make money in starters order 7 um some cheaty ways some not so cheaty ways so however you want to do it it's up to you but i do have a video you can go back and check that as well that'll give you an idea of what we did so um i basically was able to call back Siren Sailing Double Doubloons, Knight of the Rose, and Gazinia Gardner, who were our horses last year. Uh, and Nick Naku as well, who was the yearling, who's now in as a two-year-old. Um, so yeah, those are our racers. And then in the breeding, things weren't quite as easy to do. Because I imported... Black Cuckoo into that game, so I couldn't export her back out of that game. So we had to go with the young Black Cuckoo we had on the transfer list initially. Um, so we've got her in the breeding barn. Uh, we've already seen her racing. We don't need to do that again. Nick Naku is going to be so similar. Like, unbelievably similar. A little bit worse, but unbelievably similar to Black Cuckoo. And then El Molderas is um, the Falklander we picked up for 2 million. So he comes in. And then a reasonable doc is... Because there was a reasonable doc in the game. And there's also a doc reason, which is the real name of the horse. That's the horse we had with high battling qualities. And I wanted to throw them in the mix just to see what would be fun. Um, really is a seed for the game. Now, I did want Belladat, but again, like Black Cuckoo, we had to call it a Belladat rather than export and re-import because she was imported into that game. Um, so yeah, she's a yearling and okay. Uh, but we'll be going in the breeding barn next year. Uh, the European Dream is Dream Euro. Um, again, that name was in the game. And then we got Pointed Black, Tack Lil, uh, Hooded Fang, all of which were like horses that we really liked, uh, along with Marianne and Palmo, who are more interested in breeding. Um, maybe some racing, but probably mainly breeding with those. And then French Tyrade was just the last horse I could import, um, or one horse that I could import. To max up the transfer this season. Uh, we're going to use that to get a couple of million next season as an unraised two-year-old. So, you know, we're okay. Um, so it's kind of my seed for selling, buying yearlings and selling yearlings. So we're in that position now. So not everything is perfect. I've hired a jock in an apprentice. So you can have a quick look at those. We've got... Thornton, who is very good and obedient. Maybe not honest, but we don't really need our apprentice to be that. He won't get many runs. And then Cohen is a very, very, very good jockey. Um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I forgot to adjust these cities where they are. Um, so sometimes they're in the right place, sometimes they're not. Um, but yeah, some are better than others. Some are way better than others. Um, 
but uh, that's okay. That's okay too. Um, but we put ourselves down. We built up our facilities. We got everything set up, ready to go. I haven't booked any races yet. I haven't done anything yet apart from skip a few days. And the legends we've added are Frankel, Black Caviar, Secretariat, and Delami. Secretariat off to a good start. Not really, you know, running full grade ones, but okay. Um, but it's a much better showing than they had in the last game. So we'll see what they come out like and if we can bet on them and make some money throughout the game. First sale. I don't think any of this has changed. It's still where it is. Oh, and you can see the horses we sold to begin the game. To get initial seed money, it was about 2 million in total, a little over. So we ended up with about 2.5 that we went and bet with. And on the first day, I think we went up to 5 million. On the second day, I think we went up to 8. And then this last one, we just made another 3 million or something. I think we've made like 10 million or so in total. So we're pretty good in that way. So we went and spent on the facilities, we did all the transfer fees, and now we've still got four and a half in the bank. I'm happy with that. So let's go book some races, eh? Nick Naku. I mean six furlongs, right? Um oh. There's a lot of five furlongs. There's not many, like, six furlong maidens that I really like. Eight, six, and one under eight, eight. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, I was a bit worried about that one. Okay, Knight of the Rose. This was a horse we really just didn't really know how to run um but i mean looks really good and breeding barn could go in right now extra speed is missing but pair that up with um with black cuckoo and then you've got something then you might well have something yeah then you might actually have something um Let's run at a mile. Let's try a mile. I'm not going to Kenilworth. I'm not going abroad. Um, it's a couple of grade threes. I think I start at a, at a grade two level and just see. So those are... Yeah. Those are both mile ones. Xenia Gardner was a grade... Three winner, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that might be a good way of doing it. San Fernando Stakes and the San Rafael Stakes. Yeah, they're both in grids. Twos. I mean... This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one. Um, Sunshine Millions for Doubloons and Siren Sailing. Let me just run the turf for Phillies and I really don't want to go to Kenilworth. I really don't. Um Yeah. I mean those races kind of make sense to me. Nick Naku and a maiden. Then a pair of grade two miles for 
Night of the Rose and Cassini Gardener. And then we've got Grade Ones over a Mile One for Siren Sailing and Double Doubloons. It kind of makes sense. Kind of. Um, so we do have the easiest setup here, which means that we do get that breeding program that might be more predictable now. Um, so hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. So many weight advantages. I don't like that, but it shouldn't matter over this short distance, really. Not that much. Um, yeah, Waldmark would be the one, if anything. Well, Mark be the one training a little lazy. Um, yeah, we don't really watch maidens because we tend to do so many maidens. So we were a little lazy. Other horses are carrying less weight, and we still managed to get the job done. Um, not a great win, but it's a it's a it's a maiden win. And it looks like Nick Naku likes six furlongs, as expected. We're one for one. We are one for one. It's not going to last, but... Right now we're perfect. <laughs> right now we're perfect, and I mean, there's something to be said for that. There is something to be said for that. Oh, how quick that's going to disappear right here in this race. Um, feeling fresh is in you. Couple of the decent horses. Charlotte's Dancer looks okay. Let's go see. Let us go see Knight of the Rose. Four year old male. This is the San Fernando BC Stakes. Class 1, Grade 2 race for four year olds and above on dirt over a mile. Decent start in the middle of that pack. Dark horse in the middle of the field. And we're going to go to the rear. As we start this nice little uh, opening race to test. Knight of the Rose. We're going to come up a little bit. We're going to be running a wide turn. I mean, that's just where we are. We didn't run a good turn either. And then we're back and forth and side to side and... It's a competitive field. There's not much gap between anybody. Um, but there's a big gap between us and the front. Is there any fight? There's some fight. But I mean... That wasn't really that good. So... Bad jockey, bad run. Not a great horse. Who knows? Um, horse wasn't putting it all in. Yeah. Okay. Straight then with Xenia Gardner. A horse which kind of impressed early. So let's see if that carries on here. One by Sam Raphael. Stakes, which is a class one grade two race for three year olds over dirt. We got the outside draw here. And it's pretty decent start. And this time. Oops. We're going to go towards the front. We're going to want to lead this out until we come into stalking territory here for the back stretch. So a much shorter field. And we're going to run a pretty tight bend in this one. I'm going to see, do we have that fight and kick on here or not? So there goes Bond Fast Track. Here comes leading authority as well. Final mile. Xenia Gardner's dropping out of this. Once no part of it. We are going to finish dead last there. Um, wow. <laughs> that looked so good. And then went. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> 
Oh, that that's not good. That is not good. Um, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, bum, 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 bum. I feel really bad doing that, but yeah. Yeah. I just need to I just need to at this point. Um okay, so Well, um reasonable dock year one, I think. Reasonable dock year one. Just breathe that that cruising burst in a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Um, nah. Well, no, it's not cruising burst. It's, um, oh, it's battling qualities. Battling qualities. Should be interesting there. But I don't feel we can run well with them. Seven furlongs maybe for Gardner. Okay. That was a little rough. Yeah, we're not going to go around to the weekly auctions. We don't have enough money to really just drop auctions here and there. Oh. That's not good. It says injury and the breeding happened. That's good, but I wasn't really thinking we'd be dealing with that kind of stuff this early in the game. Month one. Okay. Double doubloons. One mile, one furlong, sunshine, million classic. Let's see what we can do here then. raining I don't know what kind of track Dumbrun's likes I don't think it's a wet track though um yeah class one grade one let's see what we can do four-year-olds and up it's a decent enough start we're gonna migrate to the rear and then try and get up in position and just run five wide run the bend because hey that's sensible I guess <laughs> and now we're going to be the outside horse on the five wide and we're falling back and now we cut all the way to the inside because that makes so much sense to go all the way from the outside to the inside when you're already run that bend so for the straight, you go all the way across track and use up every little bit extra that you had. And even then, we could have come second. Just beginning to pick up the end. So maybe we want to grid one at a mile two instead, but that was a terrible jockey run for my money. Um, terrible jockey run. I don't put that on the horse. And that sucks. I hate it when that happens. I really hate it when that happens. Okay, so one injury. One maybe change the length on down a furlong. One change up a furlong. And one barely won a maiden. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a mixed bag. 
Well, what a mixed bag. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's always fun in games. It's always some fun in games. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I really wasn't expecting it. It's just going to be nothing I want to run, though. Some have sent this stakes. I mean, that's uh, an interesting one. But that is it. Ugh. Okay, breather sales would be really good right now if we could find something fun. So we're going to check that auction. But, um... Yeah, a little bit of a rough start. A little bit of a rough start. Okay, nothing really at that auction, so we jump right in. Don't know these horses, don't know what's going on with our horses, and it's that rain again. Larger field. An okay start. I, I wouldn't say a great start there, but we're out early into the lead. Gardner does like to be a front runner, so we're going to see what comes up here. Not a bad run there. Okay, bright decision going a little bit more than I thought they would. Furlong and a half on the home stretch. Now, down the straight. Looks like a little bit of ground being gained here. Now, furlong out. Here comes Reeve de Nuit and Pocket 2. They're really fighting for it. Half a furlong. I'm sorry, five furlongs, half of a mile of Gokami. Or half a furlong even. I was right the first time. We do barely hang on to that. Um, good run. Good run. Don't like front runners, but a good run. I don't like anything but stalkers. Let's be perfectly honest. In the pack's okay, but a stalker's what I want. That sounded weird. <laughs> but Xenia Gardner, up to a grade two, gets a win, ridden as a stalker. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you were. You were behind, like, for half a furlong at the start and a half a furlong around that last turn before you kicked back on. Of course you rode it like a stalker. That wasn't a front runner at all. <laughs> but okay. Um, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, five races, two wins, a third place, which was unfortunate, but still... Um, and then two bad runs. There are two bad runs in there. So, unfortunate one of them, but yeah, two bad runs. But hey, we've corrected that on Gardner. The Bloons, we might know how to correct it. Siren Sailing might come out and win. I mean, you never know. We could have a seven mile winner. We could have a mile one winner. That would be our mile two winner. They're not over each other. That's a good thing. Then we see what Nick Naku can do when we get some graded races to test her out for the year. The breeding's underway. That'll be getting more and more horses in there if we can. Um, and yeah, a bunch of yearlings for next season. Interesting start. Not a bad one. Just interesting. Um, and yeah, we'll see what the new breeding program can do. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. We're going to come back, really try these horses out, try and get through the season over the next couple of, uh, of videos, and then see what that breeding is like going into year two. Should be better, should be more predictable, easier to, uh, to breed better horses, which will improve our results dramatically, hopefully. So yeah, till then, take care, behave, and I'll see you soon.